Hey everyone, welcome to the second part of 10 adventure slash fantasy anime with super strong or overpowered main character, and if you are new to the channel be sure to subscribe and turn on all notifications to never miss upcoming videos. In 10th place comes in Tower of Druaga, it is said that every few years, there is what's known as the Summer of Anu. During that summer, thanks to the divine protection of the sky god Anu, all of the demons in the tower lose their power. The country of Uruk has begun an invasion of the tower in order to suppress the demons. They've built up positions inside the tower, with their sights set on getting to the upper levels. The Uruk army knows that this is the third Summer of Anu, a perfect time to launch a mission to suppress the monster Druaga once and for all. The army soldiers aren't the only ones in the tower though. An entire city called Meskia has formed inside the tower's first floor. It plays host not just to soldiers, but also to adventurers who have heard rumors about a legendary treasure called the Blue Crystal Rod, which is said to rest at the very top of the tower. In ninth place is Shaman King, a battle is about to begin in Tokyo. The Shaman Fight, a tournament held every 500 years where shaman those who can command spirits confront each other in combat. The victor of this contest becomes the shaman king, and the only one who is able to contact and control the great spirit, allowing them to reshape the world as they please through its immense power. During a late night walk, Manta Oyamata runs into his classmate, the carefree Yuasakura, who invites him to come stargazing with some friends, who, to Manta's horror, turn out to be ghosts from a local cemetery. However, the knowledge that Manta possesses a rare sixth sense that allows Manta to see these spirits endears the boy to you. So when you finds out that his new comrade has been beaten up by a local gang, he decides to avenge him with the help of Amitamaru, a samurai ghost whose tomb was broken by the gang leader. In 8th place is Grand Blue Fantasy The Animation, the story is set in a world of the skies, where many islands drift in the sky. A boy named Gran and a talking winged lizard named Vern lived in Zinkenstil, an island which yields mysteries. One day, they come across a girl named Lyria. Lyria had escaped from the Ersta Empire, a military government that is trying to rule over this world using powerful military prowess. In order to escape from the Empire, Gran and Lyria head out into the vast skies, holding the letter Gran's father left behind which said, I will be waiting at Estelucia, Island of Stars. In 7th place is Katana Gitari, in an Edo era Japan lush with a variety of sword fighting styles, Shichika Yajuri practices the most unique one, Kyoturyu, a technique in which the user's own body is wielded as a blade. The enigmatic 7th head of the Kyoturyu school, Shichika lives quietly in exile with his sister Nanami, until one day the wildly ambitious strategist Togami barges into their lives. Togami brazenly requests that Shichika help in her mission to collect 12 unique swords, known as the Deviant Blades, for the Shogunate. Shichika accepts, interested in the girl herself rather than petty politics, and thus sets out on a journey. Standing in their way are the fierce wielders of these legendary weapons, as well as other power-hungry entities who seek to thwart Togame's objective. Mushi Bugyo follows Jean Bait Tsukishima, a young man striving to be a master swordsman like his father. To atone for a horrific incident that occurred at his fault, Jean Bei seeks to take his father's place as a member of the insect magistrate office. On his journey there, he meets the lovely Haru, a young woman who helps manage her family's tea house, and is forced to put his sword to good use in saving her from a grisly fate. This act of bravery that earns him a spot in the insect magistrate. Will this rookie exterminator be able to rid the land of the horde of insects swarming in?
In fifth place is Nabunaga the Fool. Nabunaga the Fool is heir to the eastern country of Owari. Regarded as too foolish and carefree by many, including his friends, Nabunaga is thought to be a nuisance even by his father. A girl from the west named Jean Kagaya Dark has visions of a savior king. She is accompanied by Leonardo da Vinci as she journeys to the eastern planet in search of the person in her visions. Leonardo and Jean quickly fall victim to a military confrontation between powerful Mecca, only to be saved by Nabunaga. Nabunaga takes control of Leonardo's Mecca, intending to warn his family of the siege he suspects. Jean suspects that the lackadaisical Nabunaga might be the savior king she's envisioned. In fourth place is Sizen Cerberus, maintaining a delicate balance of power, the kingdoms of Amoria, Ishilfan, and Van Rodus rule over the continent of Cunoan. Even the slightest hint of trouble in one country could spark a continent-wide war. However, their one common fear is the evil dragon Dagonzord, whose only meaning of existence is to devour and destroy all life. Ten years ago, a group of mages worked together in an effort to seal away the malevolent beast. But the ritual later known as the Balbagoa tragedy was a failure, and many lost their lives. Though his parents died in this tragedy, Iro was saved by the swordsman Jiru. Under the latter's tutelage, Iro learned swordsmanship with the sole purpose of seeking revenge. Now a budding master himself, he sets out in search of Dagonzord in order to realize his long-awaited vengeance, or to be consumed by the dragon and meet the same fate as his parents. <laughs> In third place is Bitum, Ryota Sakamoto is a neat, which stands for not educated, employed or trained. He plays a new game called Bitum. And he became one of the top players. One day, he woke up in a deserted tropical island, and he realized that he is trapped in a real-life game B-Tomb with other players including Himiko, Ryota's in-game wife. Each players have a green gem which represents their life, and if the gem is removed, the player might die. Basically, it is like a survival game. In order to win, you have to collect all the gems and make it out alive. In second place is Plunderer, Plunderer was aired few months ago, and to my surprise many people seem to not like it. Honestly, I enjoyed it quite much. It has some good action with a good amount of fan service, the story isn't that bad either. But people still seem to hate it. If you are gonna watch it then it completely depends on you. Don't mind others who will speak ill about it. In first place is Goblin Slayer, Goblin Slayer is a series that is much loved and hated. It doesn't have a remarkable story to tell about, but it shows the wicked personality of goblins, and how our protagonist had to suffer because of them. Basically it's an adventure show about killing goblins. If you're looking for some action with a bit of blood and seriousness this is the anime for you. Alright guys that's it for today's video, I hope you enjoyed this list. Be sure to subscribe for more if you haven't already, also you can join our discord server, and if you have free time feel free to visit my merch store website facebook page and twitter. See you soon.